Today, we're happy to celebrate Sergeant Brannon from the Garden City Police Department. He's retiring after 25 years of dedicated service. The police department says they're going to miss the way he cares for every single person he meets. So congratulations to Sergeant Brannon. Time now for more good news. Whoever buys a particular house in Nampa later this year will be helping six local charities in a really big way. Hubble Homes kicked off its Hero House project yesterday. Hubble and many of its trade vendors and subcontractors are donating the labor, the materials and the land for this home being built in South Nampa. When the house is sold later this year, all the net proceeds will be donated to six local charities. The Boise Rescue Mission, the Idaho Food Bank, the Meridian Food Bank, Ronald McDonald House Charities of Idaho, St. Vincent de Paul and the Salvation Army. Now each charity also got to nail in a framing piece with its logo on it. Hubble Homes expects the Hero House to sell for more than $200,000 and plans to start taking offers on it in early November. That is a lot of money coming in for those nonprofits. So what a wonderful idea that is. For all you parents out there, how have you been keeping your kids entertained for the last four and a half months? It has not been easy, believe me, I know. And we've seen some parents get pretty creative as the months have gone by, like this dad from Emmett. Check this out, Jay Henderson says his 10 year old daughter was complaining recently about not being able to see her friends because of the pandemic. So he got pretty creative. Look at this thing. Henderson says he used a motor from an old paint mixing machine and he attached a cut out paper hand to the spinning knob. He says it can shell out over 1200 high fives per minute for his daughter. But look at this. As you can see, she's sitting there on the couch. She is not impressed with dad's efforts, but you know what? We are. That's pretty impressive stuff. Oh, well, a big shout out to all the parents watching this morning. You know, this really has not been an easy time for any of us, but we are making it through. It's been almost five months with having our kids cooped up from time to time and not being able to do the things we normally do. So in case you haven't been told how great you all are lately, here's to you. You're making it. You're making it work. Well, look at this. These little squirrels were found without their mom when they were just babies by a Boise couple. This is how they found them. And mom was nowhere in sight. They took them in and they're nursing them to health. Look, they're doing so well. They named them Sissy and Scrat. So thank you to Glenn and Michelle of Boise for having such big hearts and rescuing these baby squirrels. Megan Houston of Boise enjoying some nice cold watermelon since it's been hot the past few days. She came across this. Check it out. Does this piece remind you guys of anything? Doug, Larry, what do you think? Uh, yeah, that, it does. It looks like the state of Idaho. It sure does. Bingo. How did you figure that one out? I know my geography. Well, that'd be refreshing on a day like today. Oh, yeah. it would. I mean, watermelon a little sounds slice good. of Idaho, yep. Doesn't it sound good? I love the, the Idaho-shaped food that people send me. I think <laughs> I should make a social media post of all the different chips and pieces of cheese and sandwiches <laughs> that people send me in the shape of Idaho. I should do that.